and welcome to another episode of Energy Drink. Mad Zion going alone here. Uh, we got two new energy drinks to check out, or at least one I know it's new and one I've just never seen before. Um, the one over here, actually quite a few people requested this one, which is a little surprising. This popped up in 7-Elevens. There's multiple flavors, but I picked the Rockin' Rainbow flavor. Um, this is Fusion energy drink and it is it's a 7-eleven energy drink because it has seven select on it which is their like generic brand so interesting that they're getting into making their own generic versions of energy drinks they already do that with uh, like food with candy so it makes sense that they would hop into the drink gladiator battle royale I they took me like five minutes to think of what to say there uh, but this really interests me too I also got this at 7-eleven look at this bottle this is Raptor energy uh, Raptor sparkling energy drink and it's just so like odd because it looks like the European ones from back in the day way back in the day uh, you know we were sent stuff from overseas quite often and this is always what they would look like they'd be in these giant tall uh, <laughs> bottles so I'm curious about it um, let's start with fusion first rock and rainbow hey thanks for supporting guys love your faces back us on patreon oh my god that absolutely Smells like cotton candy. I'm back is on Patreon if you want access to the videos that were too hot for YouTube. All the old school content's over there. The old main shows, drinking games, drinking challenges. And I post uh, newer content as well as unreleased stuff from back in the day. I have stuff from over, you know, the whole 14 years uh, that we post on there. Currently doing the Zion mainframe stuff. All the Zion mainframe stuff that I have, uh, you know, in my collection, uh, I'm trying to upload right now. So we're going through asshole plays at the moment. All right, cheers. Here we go. Fusion Energy from 7 Eleven. Oh my god, Jesus. That is so unbelievably sweet. That is 100% too sweet. Whoa, it is like drinking either like liquid Skittles, because I actually think this might be Skittles now. I don't think it's cotton candy. Now that I'm tasting it, I am 100% getting Skittles, and that makes sense because it's called Rockin' Rainbow. Oh yeah, that is Skittles 100%. It's uh, it's really, really sweet though. I will say I prefer the C4 version of Skittles because it's a little more subtle, but good Lord, that is 200 milligrams of caffeine for this bad boy. It is Skittles 100%. Kind of tastes like berry Skittles a little bit more than regular Skittles. I don't hate it. It's just, man, at first it was a bit of a shocker. Okay, now we're gonna do Raptor Energy. I'm um, not made by 7-Eleven. Actually, what is the company that makes this? I like how it says, don't drink one more than one of these a day. <laughs> like, don't do it, bro. Distributed by EDT, the USA Corporation. Okay, in, in Florida. So this must just be Raptor Energy. Like this must just be their, you know, their thing. Also smells sweet, but smells more like a, like a monster a little bit actually, which would make sense because it's a Raptor, it's a monster, right? Let's try it out. Oh, no, that is not a monster at all, wow. That's like a watered down bomb pop or like a popsicle. That is not great. <laughs> That's not very good. It really does just taste like a watered down energy drink. Dude, because of these fires up here, because the smoke's still up here, I'm getting so like just in my mouth, in my throat. Ah, uh, sex. Here we go again. In my nose from the smoke just so much i feel like i'm taking constant loads from dudes like just running a train on this face no i don't i don't like this one it, it like legitimately is a melted down bomb popper popsicle it's just ah it's even got that like weird unique texture to it compared to a regular beverage where it's just a lot lighter I'm just not a fan of it. I could do it if I had to. You know, like if, if I just needed energy real quick, I'd get it done. But this one is not diet. This is uh, 112 uh, calories per serving, which is, uh, I gotta throw it out there. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Oh, never mind, never mind. They did the whole thing where the serving per container is uh, 1.66. I hate that. Why do they do that? I just have to throw it out there. I think this is, and I don't know if this is unique to the United States, but I feel like we should pass a law that just says, here is what is in this product. Here is the sugar. Here is, you know, the, everything in total. Here is all the calories, everything. I hate the idea of like serving per size. Almost nobody is going to only drink down to here and then stop and save it. You're gonna drink the whole thing. Of course you are. Like I'd say some people do, but it's not, I wouldn't say it's common. 
I'm just, I'm sick of our weird rules on food because it just constantly feels like a game to trick you into thinking, oh, this isn't as bad as I think it is. All right, well, sorry, back on to it. Uh, if I had to pick a winner, from these beverages. I'm definitely gonna go with Fusion. Uh, it, it got better as I had more of it. I had more sips that I didn't put into the edit. Uh, but yeah, the, these are, it's not even close. Right? Raptors is not great. It's not my type of energy drink. It does remind me of European energy drinks and Fusion is more my jam. It's, it just tastes like, kind of like berry skills. Rating wise, you just want a four and I'll give Raptor uh, like a high two. Just not, not my jam, but yeah, either way. Thanks for watching guys. Appreciate you all and go ahead and enjoy this Twitch clip. See you soon, bye. I'm thankful I haven't went through that yet. My mom's went through that with her mom though. <gasps> no! No way! No, wait, no! This is not happening! Save her! <laughs> what? She's gonna murder her mom? No fucking way this happens. You, yo, what? Dude, that is not what I was expecting at all. Reckless eating! Reckless eating!